All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Also, Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be covering, um, you know, living with millions of dollars, living in wealth, um, and, you know, the struggles that could come with this as well. Okay, so, you know, I got some people that I know that are having a difficult time living in wealth right um and, and and i think the transition for all of us is going to be uh, a tough one right for every single person doesn't matter who it is uh when you when you come up with money when you come up with inheritance or come up come out of uh you know come out of poverty with money it's very difficult because in your mind it's like you know um i gotta you know the first thing you want to do is spend as you can see all these cars here um this was a rally uh i think this was a rally from like two years ago maybe even three years ago rally um and uh but still uh and they were and they were staying at this uh mansion here can you imagine uh, being a being the butler uh in this in this mansion with all those windows you have to, you have to clean on a weekly basis or a daily basis oh my goodness gracious how many freaking windows do they have in their home um but uh it, it's uh you know what i mean but you know th just living in wealth right and, and being able to manage it and maintain the wealth is very important but it also is very can be very stressful um because a lot of people give their wealth to attorneys they give their wealth to finance men, uh, uh attorneys they give their wealth to accountants and they give their wealth uh to uh, project managers and, and and um people that can that that have um businesses and that can um, brokers that can you know um diversify your wealth for you in a certain way for investments and maybe you know have you have ownership of different apps and they put your money in all types of different stuff uh and it could be very very confusing you know and it could also be very very uh stressful uh because you don't know you know if you if you uh if you got 30 different investments you don't you don't even know how to take care of that you don't even know what you're looking at sometimes right and that's how the football players and NFL, nba players go bankrupt especially the football players the basketball players have a better uh, are doing a lot better than the nfl players the basketball players um they're, they they get they make more money number one uh, the baseball players are, are exceeding everybody but but the uh, nba players they, they make more money than the football players um and then they also have more endorsement deals as well um so they so they get to they get to make mistakes and still floor and still be able to flourish but they have they have um the nba players are more smarter because they have somebody like lebron james that leads the way and chris paul is the uh is the guy there in the uh in the players union so he makes sure they they make sure that people are getting their money and people are spending it wisely they they have programs to teach people there and I'm I'm pretty sure the NFL has that now, but people are still making a lot of mistakes. You know, it's sad to know that like uh, Adrian Peterson, who's probably headed to the Hall of Fame, you know, as one of the greatest running backs of all time, you know, is broke. You know what I mean? It's like because because not because he went broke, because he, he, he allowed other people to invest his money uh, unwisely right and so we and so that's what happens a lot of people don't go broke because they spend their money they go broke because they invested their they they allowed somebody else to invest their money for them and they didn't know what was going on they didn't know what was going on with their money they would just they, you know every month or every two months they would get a check you know from their investment and say everything is good and so and that's not that that is not good at all right you don't know what's going on. you need to be hands-on with your money okay you need to be hands-on with everything that goes on with your with your life and with your money you can't let somebody just uh that you don't even know uh invest a hundred million dollars for you in several different uh companies and things and and just literally waste your money and you getting all the little small check here and there thinking you're okay but you're really not and your hundred million dollars is literally gone right so you can't do that um and so you you got to be careful on that you got to trust be able to um work with people that you can actually trust that you pray about that god leads you to that and god says they're going to be good for you and um and if they turn out 
that they switch up at some point because they have free will, right? And, and then God says that I will restore everything um, and or I will let you catch it before it's too late, right? Um, so before they, they, they turn, I will let you catch it and you will leave and you can uh, detach yourself from them and uh, find somebody else, right? So God, God, would, God will always do that for us. That's the good thing about God, right? And that's the good thing about being on, this, on the winning side. We, we, are, we have help from the Holy Spirit. We have help from Yeshua and we have help from the Father. Okay, so um, but yeah, so people, there's several people I know that they're they're you know they're they 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 came up on wealth and then all of a sudden, you know, they're you know life isn't as fun anymore. Life isn't life is kind of stressful. You know what I mean? Marriages ain't going as well. You know, uh, a lot of more bickering and fighting when it's supposed to be happiness, right? So. And uh, a lot more anxiety and stress. You have to oversee all this money. People are thinking. People are looking at your family members, looking at you as an ATM machine now, and they want. They they keep calling for money. Like they won't stop. They make every excuse why you need to give them money. I mean, that is. I mean, it it can be a really really uh, tough time. Uh, when you come up in money and everybody knows it, right? So some of you guys say that you're gonna hide this stuff from people, and you just can't do that. I mean, you, I think that I think you make it worse on yourself uh, when you do stuff like that. Uh, when you hide it and things like that, it just it just makes it worse, in my opinion, because you're always thinking about it. You're basically entrapping yourself into a prison, and you're not being yourself when you do stuff like that. But uh. But I get it. I understand why people are going to want to do that initially and then gradually tell people maybe that, hey, I came up on some money and uh, I'm doing well and, you know, what I mean, and I'll help a little bit here and there. But that's about it. I'm not, you know, your cutoff number is this, you know, and you give them a cutoff number. 50,000 is your cutoff number. Don't ask for more and you better ask for it slowly. Because once you get to it, you're done, right? And so we, we, I think you know, I think one of the quickest ways to to um to live in wealth and be happy is to set limits for people. Let them know up front, right? Let everybody know up front. Like, Mama, I got a hundred thousand dollar limit for you, and that's it. You ain't going over unless it's a medical emergency, right? And you know, and uh, uh, and so you're gonna, you're gonna, your your limit is a hundred thousand, okay? And you can, we can do ten thousand a month until you get there, or you can do uh, one thousand a month until you get there. Whatever it is, that's your limit, right? And and then you can do your dad, same thing, a hundred thousand for you, dad. And you tell me when you when when you, how much you want at one time. You can get it all at one time, or you can get it gradually, right? Um, and then sister, brother, and whoever else that you have, you know what I mean? Or aunties, uncles, this is your limit, and that's it. And when you when you set limits like that, it make everybody knows the limits, and they can't go over it. Once they go, once they hit their limit, they done. So they can't just take your money and then buy stupid stuff with it because they know it's limited. It's not unlimited, right? And so what's happening is that people, uh, family members and, and, and co-workers and friends are, are looking at you as an ATM machine because you haven't put any limits to them. You haven't said, this is it. You haven't told them, hey, so when so they so they'll say, hey, I need this, hey man, I need money for that, hey, I, I need money for this, and they, they see you as unlimited money, right? But when you when you actually tell them this is your limit. Hey, 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 Bobby Joe, you know, uh, hey, Bobby Christina, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Boo Boo, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 hey Sade, <laughs> you know, what I mean? this is your limit. Don't ask me again, right? Don't ask me again because you ain't getting no more. That That's your limit, okay? Your limit is 2000 a year. Right? You're, you're, the, you're, my, you're my friend and my coworker, but your limit is 2000 a year, my friend. Okay, Bobby Joe Boo. Okay, so uh, you know what I mean. You gotta set limits, folks, because that's that's what keeps people in check. That's what keeps people from having to look at you as an ATM machine. I don't even want money when people when I don't want money unless people give it with their hearts. You know what I mean? I don't want money unless people give it with their hearts. So you know what I mean. So when people are angry and, and like here, you know, no. 
I don't want that. I don't want your money. You know what I mean? Uh, I want people to give with their hearts. Give because I've done a great job. Give because you care. Give because you care about the 365 crew, the eyes of media care, uh, crew. Care, give because you want to sow seeds and where you prosper. Right? Give because you care with your heart. You don't give because oh, he's asking for it again. Right, let me just give him a dollar to shut him up. No, that's not why. That's not when you give. You give with your heart. You give because you want to sow seeds and you want to name your seed and prosper. Right? We don't give just to give, folks. We give so that we prosper. Right. So when I say when I'm saying you guys aren't giving or you guys aren't sowing seeds, that's because I can st I, I see that. OK, if you don't, if you're not giving seeds, then you're not. Then when when 12 months comes from now, there is no harvest. Right. You're not sowing seeds in the ground. You always have to sow seeds in the ground and it doesn't have to just be money. Right. We sow seeds by doing other things. Praying for people, teaching people, you know, providing intel, providing things for people, for God's people so that we can stay ahead. Those are all seeds in the ground. I, that means, I mean, if you think about it, I sow seeds all day long because I pray for people. I pray for the 365 crew, Eyes Open Media crew every day. Every time I go in my car, I'm praying for the 365 crew, Eyes Open Media crew, right? I, I teach all day long. That's all I do right here. I teach all day long. I provide intel. I keep the, 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 body of, the body of Christ ahead of the curve all day long. I teach technical and stuff on, on, on the Patreon, right, for charts and stuff to people to learn and, and, and make money. That's all seeds. I give I uh, to ministries. I I give um you know I give tips to where, wherever I go. I'm so in, I'm praying for people as I'm walking as I'm walking somewhere. It doesn't matter where I'm at. If I see somebody limping or see somebody uh, hurting or whatever, I pray for them. If I see somebody struggling that looks like they're struggling because maybe their, their clothes are torn or something, maybe that's the style, but maybe maybe it's not. You know what I mean? If I see somebody's dirty or something, like that, I pray for people, man. I pray for people. All, I'm sowing seeds all day long for my harvest. For my harvest, so it doesn't have to be money, right? Doesn't have, I I I've declined I, I've declined I've declined a whole bunch of brand deals and all that. I, I I I I don't even look at this stuff. You know what I mean? So when people when so that's why it's kind of it's so funny when people say, oh you know, currency is all about money. No, I'm not because I I gave up my my Patreon money to, to you know for two years. You know what I mean? Like you know I shut I I even walked away from YouTube in 2018. Remember that? Remember on, on the Iraq stuff? And I was just doing crypto stuff. I wasn't making no money. You know what I mean? I the the Iraq stuff was the one that was the money maker. You know what I mean? And I walked and I I shut that down for a whole year on this channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's it's comical. And then also, you know, you, you got people out there be like, hey man, I'll, I'll give you this and that. But like, nah, if you don't do it with your heart, I don't want it. Right? I just I I, I told I told one of my one of my homegirls the other day. You know what I mean? If you don't do it with your heart, I don't want it. She was like, I, well, I might give you, a, I might send you a Bitcoin. I said, you don't do it with your heart, I don't want it. Cause it's got to be with the heart, folks. You know what I mean? You got to do it because you want to do it. You got to do it because you, you see that um, I'm beneficial. You know what I mean? You're sowing because this is seed. If you do, if you don't do it with your heart, then the, the seed, how can the seed prosper? Because you're doing it out of, you're doing it out of anger. You know what I mean? You're doing it out of frustration, anger, or, or being forced to do it. And that's not a, that, that that's a negative seed. And we don't want to plant negative seeds. We want people to do things with their hearts, right? And so, you know what I mean? So we, we want people to do things with their heart. So when you when you're wealthy, you also wanna um, you know, you wanna pick out some um some places that you wanna sow into, some ministries you wanna sow into so that you, you can continue you with your harvest. Right? You don't wanna be rich and then and in three years you're not rich anymore. You wanna continue to sow seeds where you prosper. Um, you know what I mean? If you see people that are doing amazing things, you wanna sow into them. Um, you know what I mean? Just like the um 
the the person who sold a uh, hundred thousand dollars into Marcus Rogers uh, Ministries, right? Because he sees that Marcus, uh, if if this thing can get out of the ground, uh, Marcus is going to change lives. He's going to set people free. He's going to well, people are going to be able to come into the kingdom of God. And they're like, yeah, uh, here's the I'm going to sow a seed in the ground uh, for you, and it's gonna it's gonna prosper me as you prosper, right? So as you prosper, I prosper. That that's how it works, right? So so you know when you see some people prospering in a godly way, um, sow seeds. You know what I mean? What 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 does five dollar? What what would it hurt to sow five dollar seed and to somebody that's prospering and name the seed? You know what I mean? Like people can't even do stuff like that. People don't. You know, super chats are are sowing seeds into pro into in, on YouTube, right? You're sowing seeds in uh, on, into somebody. Every time you give, you're sowing a seed. Right? Folks. So you can super chats or are, are sowing seeds. You can uh, Patreon pledges are sowing seeds, but you got to name your seed. You got to name it. You can't just sow and, uh, you know, and you say, OK, I'm sowing. Uh, something's got to happen. You have to name your seed. You have to tell the money what to do. You have to tell the energy, the currency, what to do. You know what I mean? So the currency is energy, right? It's a waves of energy. You have to tell it what to do. Okay, so I'm sewing twenty dollars for this. I'm sewing twenty dollars for that. I'm sewing twenty dollars for for a happy family. I'm sewing ten dollars for my 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 children uh my children to uh you know to be able to uh, get to the into the school that they want. I'm sewing this for that. I'm sewing this for that. Um, I'm I'm sewing a hundred dollars because I want a new Corvette, and um you know what I mean. And and so I want God to be able to provide that for me. You know? Things like that. Right, it could be anything. I'm sewing. I'm sewing seventy dollars um, to to for uh, my uncle's uh, heart transplant that it goes well and uh, God oversees everything. You you have to name your seeds, right? You just don't sow. You have to name your seeds, right? And so you got to name. You got to tell the seed what to do or how to grow, right? And so that's very important as a millionaire as well. Um, and, um, you know, remove stressful people out of your life. That's another thing millionaires got to do. Remove stressful people out your life, man. Get these stressful people out your life. People that are miserable should not be in the presence of millionaires to, unless they're seeking advice and they're paying for it. <laughs> okay. People that are miserable, people that are angry, people that are negative should never be in your presence. They should never be in your presence unless God puts them in there to you to change them or unless they're seeking counsel. Because they will jack you up, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so you be running around the mansion all jacked up because you let people in with negative energy. Right? And so you don't want to do that. You want to be at peace as a millionaire. Right? You want to be at peace. You want to be at happiness. You want to be in joy. You want to be. Your life should be exciting because every day you get to wake up and sp and you get to spend some of that money responsibly and and uh, and you get to go places. You don't have to wake up and do a nine to five like everybody else. You get to go wake up and take a private jet and go to Miami or go to Las Vegas or go to L. A. or go to Alaska or travel to Greenland or travel to Dubai and travel to to you know any anyway you know what i mean yeah you, you can go and see places you can go visit people you can do whatever you want you know when you have money you can do you can you can try you, you can ride nice fancy cars and, and um or, or you get a luxury um some of you guys look like uh, rvs like the luxury rvs you can get a you can rent out or own a luxury rv you know snippy's flying around in helicopters now <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? He's getting his helicopter training right now. Life is good, man. <laughs> like, when you're rich, you know, and you're making money, you can do these things, you know? You can be at the gym every day. You can do this. You can do that. You can have fun. You can have tea time. You can you can see, you can meet with your children. You can do whatever you want, man, you know? And, and, and the cool thing about it is that when you're wealthy, you can also bless your your your, your close friends 
and, 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 and teach them how you're wealthy. And then they can also then become wealthy as well. So then they can quit their job or they can retire from their job and then they can hang out with you as well. Right. And you, and then you, you guys, you know, all your friends are all wealthy with you because you taught them the, the secrets in the game, uh, or you, or you gave them some money and then they use it to, uh, to replace their full-time income through maybe crypto staking or something else. Right. And now they're making a whole bunch of money. They're fully developed diversified you got them fully diversified all your friends imagine having 10 close friends they're all fully diversified they're all fully uh have become their own central bankers and they're all retired and you guys are in your 20s 30s 40s or 50s and maybe 60s and you guys are just having the time of your life now you get to go over each other houses you're playing video games you're, you're 2k you're playing this you're doing that you're having a good time you know, you guys are married, you know, you're having double dates and things like triple dates, steakhouses. I mean, that's the life, man. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have to be a life of sin, you know, to have fun. You don't have to sin to have fun. Just like you don't have to drink to have fun, right? And so, you know, um, so it, it is what, you know, that that's what I wanted to cover here. And uh, we're going to get into prayer. I'm going to break this into two parts, though. Um, this is the first part. The next part is going to be the prayer part. So we'll break it. We'll break it into two parts here. So I'm going to stop the video here. Thank you guys for watching, listening. Uh, if you're going through it right now and you have money, um, do some of the things that we we talked about, man. Get rid of the negative people in your life. Get rid of the negative family members. You know, remove that negative energy. Um, calm down. Be at peace. Pray and meditate on, on God's word. Words, stand on God's promises for your life. Remove, the, rebuke all the, um, you know, the, the the demons of of anxiety and all that stuff out of your life. Um, if you're dealing with that because of a, a financial advisor or wealth manager, get rid of them. Because they're bringing you bad vibes. Take control of your own money and let God lead you in a better path to us, you know, and, and understand what you're doing as well. Start educating yourself on how to use money to make more money and how and, and all the good places to put your money in that you can keep it, you know, uh, keep it safe. All right. So um, it's very important because this is your legacy and you don't want to, you know, wake up one day and everything's gone. I mean, that that would be your legacy now. Right. So. So in the, the the bad part is that uh, a lot of times a lot of people don't come back from that. You know, uh, it's devastating. You know? Only a few people have come back from that. Only a few people have lost everything, like Dave Ramsey, and then able to restructure themselves and then get it back and then even get bigger. Right? Most people, when they lose it all, it's over for them. You know, some many of them do suicide, right, or drink to oblivion and have to be in a mental institution, right? Um, so you got to be careful, folks. We got to be careful with playing with fire here. When you're a millionaire, uh, it can go down very bad right and we know that we've seen so many people uh look rich be rich and then all of a sudden they lose it all and um and they can't take it anymore right and they they they, they go to their end um and uh, it's it's very sad but um and then you think man if they had just stayed at that nine to five and just been working you know in this normal pace and you know they would have been still alive and they got all that money and now um, their life is over you know what i mean so you got to be careful folks we got to be careful um you know we got to be careful because now we're in the big now you're going to be in the big leagues and when you know big leads means big ups and big downs <laughs> you know so we gotta we gotta be careful on that so all right so next video is gonna be the prayer video about um being wealthy and um you know, and, um, you know, for, for the mind, for the body, the spirit, the families, we're going to pray about uh, being and living in wealth. All right. Peace out. God bless. Bye.